Square Enix. Howdy guys, Sniper the Lazy Man here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Drakengard. Now, uh, this is actually going to be a start of not only a new LP, but as the uh, start of my 1,000 subscriber special. So, uh, first I just want to get all the uh, thank yous out of the way early. Um, so, I just, obviously, thank you guys so much for uh, for subscribing and watch my videos I know I, I really do try I really try to do the best um, that I can when it comes to uh, um, you know with with, with you know with, with the materials that I have to, to record and you know to record and stuff I, I really do uh, appreciate it a lot um, that you guys actually uh, care enough um, so I think that's pretty much it I mean I mean, believe me, like, I, I know a thank you sounds just, oh, like, everybody does it, but, like, it really does, it really, I really mean, it really means a lot, uh, a lot to me. So, let's, uh, start up a new game here. It is an ancient time, 
and dragons still roam upon the earth. Two great powers, the Union and the Empire, wage fierce war for the control of a goddess who protects the harmony of the world. In only a short time, the Empire has become powerful beyond reckoning, and now it turns to attack the castle where the Union safeguards the goddess. The world teeters on the brink of chaos. Its fate now lies in the hands of one man. Chapter 1 Beginnings Alright, so this right here is just going to be uh, dialogue, or, you know, obviously text, of just what the story is, um, and I, 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 I'm personally not going to really be uh, read, reading these, I, I, for the most part, I think I'm just going to be skipping these. Basically, you play as time, and you just kill things. That's pretty much all you really need to know, <laughs> for starters at least. It, it, it gets much more, uh, much more deeper and, and intense um, later. And that's actually one thing that I actually really like about this game, is that it actually is quite a dark, uh, kind of game. And, and, and overall just setting is just really, really dark. Alright, so we have to get to, uh, find, uh, get to the castle, and surrounded by hundreds and hundreds and thousands of guys. That you can go on, you can go around this entire map, actually, let me, uh, I know there's a way to bring up the map. <laughs> Oh, duh, it just told me, R3. Of all, of all things, R3 to bring up the map. But basically, uh, not that. Basically, this whole thing is the entire map. All those red dots are, are a group of, like, between 5 to maybe 10 enemies. So right there, that's a lot of enemies right there. Probably in the near thousands. Or more. Or more. So really, you can, if you want, to spend, and you know, to spend 20, 30 minutes running around trying to get all the, uh, kill all these enemies. And, uh, and even try and get, uh, the other, other weapons. Which is what you, which is what I'm probably tr going to try and do for, you know, I, you know, like, I may want to try and do a 100% run of this. Um, but that's, that, it's just going to be, uh, really just, for the most part, one, a one playthrough. And then whatever ending I get, that's what I get. Now, uh, so that's going to be kind of, uh, interesting to see how that uh, how that goes, but as for uh, combat and gameplay here, uh, very reminiscent to I would say Dynasty Warriors. I know if you look up other Let's Plays for this game anywhere, the the comparison is to Dynasty Warriors um, very very easily. And I know it seems very repetitive right now with me just doing two slashes and then that strong strike move, 
but really that's what you basically want to do for the first uh, little bit is is basically try to do the same um, repetitive moves. So I, so what I'd really guess I'd say is if you're not a fan of hack and slash or anything that repetitive, you know this won't really be the game for you. But if but if you don't mind redundancy and hack and slashing and stuff, but you like you know a dark kind of messed up storyline of really messed up characters. Then I would say this is definitely a a, a great uh, a great little game. But uh, you know, but I I, I was I, I do like the fact that this uh, was from uh, Square Enix, which I I find I, I do find that kind of a uh, surprising that they would go and that they would make something different besides that you know back in the day when they would make something different besides Final Fantasy, <laughs> you know. But can I just please end? I want Kingdom Hearts three already. I think all of us do. <laughs> well, okay, I'm just speaking for me as everybody. But I, I do know a lot of people want Kingdom Hearts 3, and just like me, I'm kind of uh, pissed off at Square Enix. And one of the reasons I actually heard why Kingdom Hearts 3 is not really, is not in, in, even in the works right now, is because the whole Final Fantasy 14 versus, or Final Fantasy 14 now, what's that, whatever it's called. Uh, I, I read up somewhere that 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 because the re, because uh, Kingdom Hearts three will not be made until that until that game is finished. So I don't know what's going to come out of that, but that's at least that's at least of a better hope than just saying, oh yeah yeah we, we're gonna Kingdom Hearts three yeah yeah that game will come out uh, never. <laughs> but yeah, I mean basically uh, it's uh, it's pretty simple. Well. I shouldn't say I should say with combat and stuff it's it's simple, but you know, you'll want to uh just keep on really fighting through all this. And again, it seems it seems easy and redundant now, but trust me, later later levels oh boy does it okay, well if I can center center me, there we go. But and uh, as you notice there's a level up there's a there's an experience for every time I get some kills. And uh, that's obviously going to be lead into a there's a level up, level up system for this game. Um, not only for you can level up yourself with you can increase damage and the amount of health you have, but you can also increase um, you can also level up your weapons. I f I'm, I forget how many times each weapon levels up, but there's there's like there's so many weapons in this game, and and they they really do f want you to really try to f uh, run around every level, try to find them. Um, and that's why that's what guides, you know. Th that's why guides are so helpful, right? So helpful for games like these, rather than trying to r really find out where. Uh, okay, go inside. Uh, you know, rather than trying to find out where where every single one of these weapons and, and things are. Okay, you can use magic or pressing triangle. Yeah. So uh, right now, with my weapon, right now, I just shoot a fireball by just pressing triangle. I noticed, and the green bar above my health. Um, is kind of like a magic meter or something. It kind of gain, it, it builds up every time I, uh, every time I attack enemies, and it builds up quite fast. So you know I, I can launch a couple of fireballs on this guy, weaken him down easily, attack a group of enemies, and then get it almost full. So that's so that, that's why I like it. It's, so, so it's not like really it's really hard to get your magic back up. It's actually more easy than. Uh, then probably, then probably a lot of people may uh, may think at first look. But uh, okay, enemies in the castle. All right. But yeah, I mean, as for uh, again, again, going on to the whole thing that this game is uh, just really dark. At times, it seems like the game takes takes itself really seriously, but also in just like like I don't know if I would call it a dark humor. For, for some bits, but overall, again, it's just it's a it's a dark it's more of a darker game than um, than probably a lot of other stuff that Square Enix has uh, made. I mean, then again, I wouldn't really know if all of the other Final Fantasy games are dark, you know, on the inside of the on the inside of them because, well, let's just say I've never really played any Final Fantasy game to actual depth. I either stopped playing it after a couple. I don't know levels, or I just don't. I just don't play them at all, you know. But that's just me. They just don't personally interest me at all. 
And uh, but yeah, I mean, as of right now, again, it's uh, it's going to get pretty uh, pretty simple right now. Uh, and then and then whenever I level up my weapons, uh, you actually yeah. So we have, when you ever actually level up one of your weapons, you actually gain um, more combos and uh, more damage. And then and the weapons actually uh, change overall shape and size too, which I which I like. I like that actually. All right, treasure box. And give me the key. You have the key, enter the castle. Okay, right after I wipe out these guys. Now really, now really again, what, what I could do is literally run around this entire place, killing all these enemies, get so much experience. But when it comes to leveling up, there will be parts that I will need to grind for. Um, so that's, I will we'll do that off screen. I'm not gonna have you guys uh, Watch, Protect watch that. Protect and of course, it helps with me actually editing, actually editing the video, because if I'm doing it off screen, I don't need to record it, chop it down to like, you know, chop it like an hour of grinding into only a couple minutes of of you of showing you guys, you know, unless something interesting happens. But I, I kind of doubt something. Uh, rather than just me leveling up and gaining experience, would uh would would be anything. But all right, level two, so. Pretty uh, pretty straightforward at first. All right, so now we've obtained the Bone Breaker, and the magic is Yemer's Fane. We will find out what that does uh, probably pretty soon. Uh, this is the w weapon uh, selection weapon wheel, basically, and you can hold eight different weapons in this wheel, which uh, you know it can, which is pretty cool. Alright, save. Yes. I think there's a cutscene. Yep. A dragon. to live despise me if you will but I shall not die your answer, your answer. A, pact a pact or death all right so we have uh there's a little bit inside times uh times mind and uh what he's you know experienced so obviously he's uh, dragon uh, maybe not her, 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 this, this Dryden not in particular, but a Dryden has actually murdered his parents, um, and he's going to offer the Dryden a pact. Now, I don't really want to spoil anything for people who don't know the game that much, and actually, I, I actually, actually, I don't, I'm not going to go into too much, um, more into the game after this, uh, because actually, so, so yeah, so I think that's going to be it, uh, of this, uh, part one here. Um, but so this is so this is gonna be uh, a uh, part. Uh, this is gonna be part one, not only this whole let's play, but again of the 1,000 subscriber special. Because like okay, be because, because my, my actual channel grows actually quite quickly. Whenever I think up of an idea for a sub uh, for some special thing, I would either need more time for to produce whatever I want, or just. Um, need or I would just need a better quality uh, recorder but I can't really seem I can't really seem to do either one so this so I, I have this and I also have a review uh, coming out as I, as I said in my uh, last channel update I wanted to get more I wanted to do more reviews 
um, maybe first impressions, uh, top 10 or you know top lists. Again, I wanted to get more into those uh, just to expand a little more than just doing uh, actual Let's Plays. Um, but okay, so I think that is going to be it for me. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, next episode, we will uh, check out what the Dryden and uh, Time are going to do. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so for Time, uh, we will sign off.